What's up guys? This is my review for a week one of AEW Fighter Fest. Um, I thought it was a pretty good show. Um, could have been a little better, but it was a good show. Um, the show opened up with Chris Jericho coming out on commentary. Um, he argued that, um, Excalibur, he, uh, called him, um, a masked idiot. I thought that was pretty funny. And Jericho was good on commentary. So, he was good for the whole night. Um, first match was MJF and Wardlow versus Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy. Um, Jericho had a great so I thought it was a great one. He um he called Luchasaurus a dino douche and I fucking cracked up. So that was pretty funny to me. But the match was pretty good. Um it started off it was good. Um they worked on Jungle Boy for about three minutes. Um Luchasaurus Got the hot tag. Um, he threw them to the outside. He did a springboard. Um, he threw them back. I think it was Gordo. He threw back him. And him and Jungle Boy did like a roll battle. Roll battle. A roll barrel um, cutter. Double move um, for a two count, so that was pretty good. Um, Jungle Boy uh, ran and hopped off Luchasaurus's back and hit MJF like a um, Super Canadian Destroyer. I thought that was pretty good. Um, at some point, Lurglo hit a Swanton. And he completely missed. Um, and then MJF came back into the ring. They had, well, they threw Luchasaurus out. They had Jungle Boy. Um, Lurgo was holding Jungle Boy. MJF went to hit him with the ring. He hit Lurgo. Um, Jungle Boy hit a spinning DDT on, I believe, Lurglo. Um, Luchasaurus hit a choke slam, and I would have been fine if it ended right there. But Luchasaurus hit a standing, um, moonsault for the thing, and I did not like that. But it was a good match, a good opener, and a lot of spots, so it was pretty good. Um, they went to commercial, they came back from commercial, Joey Janela and Lance Archer battled outside in the, in the crowd, you know, hyping up their match for next week. That should be, um, pretty good. Um... The next match was Hikaru Shida versus Pel. I can't. I can't speak. Penelope Ford. Um. I this match actually surprised me. I knew it was gonna be good, but it might have been match of the night for me. Um. It started off hot. They battled outside the ring. Then it got kind of slow after, I believe, Ford threw Sheeta into the ring and put her in a bunch of rest holds. Penelope Ford went for a springboard stunner. Sheeta countered with a, um, with a sweeper. Um, she had a nice falcon arrow for, and went for the two count, but 
Penelope Ford countered into a roll-up for the two count. I thought that was pretty good. Um, at one point, Sheeta went up to the top rope, went for a, was it a, a flying um, drop kick, but Ford hit this um, Trish Stratus kind of matrix move and ducked and hit Sheeta with a cutter for a two count, I believe. Um, then they did this spot where Penelope Ford went outside and got the belt. The referee followed her. Chris Sabin came out with a, um, with a kendo stick. Did I say Chris Sabin? Chris Sabin? Um, what's his name? Kip Sabin. My bad. Kip Sabian came out with the, um, the kendo stick. He went to hit Sheeta. Sheeta ducked, grabbed the stick, beat down Sabian. Um, and Penelope Ford comes back into the ring. I don't know how, but somehow hit Sheeta like a cutter for the two count. Um, Ford then up for the, um, was it Ford? Yeah, Ford then up for a nice moonsault. Sheeta got the knees, hit a Falcon's arrow. Um, Ford kicked out, but Sheeta basically hit two running kicks and then hit her with the, um, the shining lizard for the thing. This was an excellent match, better than I expected. Um, the next match was Cody versus Jake Hagar for the TNT title. This match was, eh, it wasn't that great. I tried to take some notes, but eh, it wasn't that good, and it was to be expected. You know, I'm not a fan of um, Jake Hagar, his in-ring work. So, the match started, they, um, Hagar outpowered Cody, they went into the um, ankle lock counters, um, Hagar then outside, Cody hit a springboard from the, the middle ropes, um, um, Hagar hit a German on the outside. They went to commercial. Hagar's wife, um, stepped on Cody's back. I thought that was pretty good. They come back from the commercial. Cody hit Hagar like a beautiful, I mean beautiful, springboard cutter. It was nice. Um... Cody then up to the top rope. Hagar jumped up to the rope and tossed him, tossed Cody over his head. Um, the match ended with um, Hagar going after Arn Anderson outside. And no, Duff, Cody then outside. Um, Dustin came, um, slapped the shit out of Hagar, and, um, Cody came back into the ring. I think he hit, did he hit a crossroads? Um, he went for the pin, but Hagar reversed into a triangle, but his shoulders were down, so Cody actually got the three. I like that finish. It was a good finish. Okay match, good finish. Next match was Private Party versus Santana and Ortiz. Um, Cassidy came out to um, 
to sit at commentary. At the end of the match, Jericho and him kind of, they had to be pulled apart. Um, my boy Joe Lorenzo pulled apart Jericho. He got TV time. Um, the match started with a bunch of spots, a bunch of springboards. Santana and Ortiz took control. Um, connected to commercial. They came back. Thing made a hot tag. Um, they hit more spots, more springboards. The match ended with them hitting a swing blade on him. Was it Ortiz? He rolled outside. They hit the gin and juice on Santana for the thing, and they pick up the surprise thing. So they face, they fight for the tag team titles next week on night two. Now, um, Taz and Jake Cage had a promo. Taz basically said that John Moxley is scared. Um, he chose to stay home to, um, because he thought he had Corona. So for the safety of the roster, he stayed home. But Taz basically said he, um, he got tested twice. It came back negative, so you don't have corona. The only thing you have is the case of the chicken shakes. That was pretty good. So, the match was supposed to happen next week, but for safety reasons, it's going to happen July 16th, I believe. So, Taz was pretty good, as always. He's a great mouthpiece for Jake Cage. Um, main event, Omega and Hangman Page. I got my Omega shirt on. Versus Best Friends. Um, I didn't really like this match as much as I thought I would. Um, was it Chucky e. T's mom drove them to the ring? I thought that was pretty funny. FTR came out for commentary. They offered JR a beer. Chuck Taylor had a nice springboard. Um, Hangman lies outside against the, um, the guardrail and tail, best friends basically um tossed was it Omega up into Hangman Page into the guardrail. I thought that was a good spot. You know they battled back and forth. They cut to commercial, battled more back and forth. The match ended with. It, it was a surprising ending. Hangman hit the dead eye on Chuck Taylor, I believe, and then hit the um the buckshot lariat for the thing. So that was surprising, but they retained. Um, I thought this was a good show. It could have been better, but it was a solid show. Um, my match of the night again, surprisingly, was. Sheeta and Penelope Ford. They really showed up. Um, I'm looking forward to um, to next week. I'm looking forward to Janela, my boy Joey Janela, and Lance Archer. I'm looking forward to um, the eight man tag. The Lucha Brothers are back. I'm looking forward to um, Nyla Rose, her open challenge. I'm looking forward to that. So, it's going to be a good card next week. Yeah, guys. Good show next week. I'll be doing my, uh, my predictions before, the night before. So, look out for that. 
Let me know in the comments what you got in the show. Um, if you like my review, give a thumbs up. Orange Cassidy thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And just have a nice day, guys. Peace.